And now on to our dinosaur of the day, Brachytracolopan, which was a request from Thieving Raptor Lorenzo via our Patreon and Discord, so thanks. It was a dicreosaurid sauropod that lived in the late Jurassic in what is now Chubut Province, Argentina, in the Cañadón Calzareo Formation. It's similar in shape to other sauropods. It walked on all fours, it had a long tail, but it had a short neck. In a silhouette, it kind of looks like an iguanodont with a really bulky body and the relatively short neck, but it's got a much longer whip-like tail. Weird. Yeah. Sauropods and short necks are weird. (laughs) It's estimated to be less than 33 feet or 10 meters long. Again, with that short neck, the the neck is about 40% shorter than other dicreosaurids. And dicreosaurids are diplodocoids. That means its neck is shorter than any known sauropod. Wow. And dicreosaurids also include Amargosaurus, the really cool one with Mm -hmm. like the split spine. So they got all sorts of weird stuff going on with necks. Yeah. They're also known for their shorter necks. Huh. I think I'm always distracted by the fact that it's got these two spines things sticking out of the neck. Look as short. I just never notice the length of it because I'm just looking at the cool. Unless you're comparing it to a mementosaurus, maybe. (laughs) Yeah. Everything has a short neck compared to a (laughs) mementosaurus. That's true. Well, these short necks may have helped with low browsing. It probably ate plants that grew to about three to six and a half feet or one to two meters tall. It might have filled the same niche as large iguanodontians, which weren't around in the late Jurassic in Gondwana, but there were many large iguanodontians during that time in what is now North America, where there were no dicreosaurids. Hmm. Brachytracolopan helped show that dicreosaurids had a rapid radiation and really spread out in the late Jurassic in the Southern Hemisphere after Gondwana separated from the Northern continents in the Middle Jurassic. Brachytracolopan was named in 2005 by Oliver Raoult and others. The type species is Brachytracolopan messii, and the species name is in honor of Daniel Mesa, a local shepherd who found the dinosaur while looking for stray sheep. The genus name means short-necked Pan, and it refers to Pan, the god of the shepherds. With a short neck? Yeah, with a short (laughs) neck. Interesting. (laughs) I guess because of the shepherd and... Pan. Yeah, they're not related. It's not that it looks like a god with a short neck. It's that it has a short neck and it was found by a shepherd. Mm-hmm. The fossils were found articulated. The holotype includes vertebrae, including eight neck vertebrae, part of the ribs, part of the lower left leg, and part of the hip. It probably had 12 neck vertebrae, like other dicreosaurids. They're just shorter, I suppose. Yes. Sort of like how we have the same number of neck vertebrae as a giraffe. Yeah, but our <laughs> necks are very different. Yeah. Yeah, we're we're talking about how this dicreosaur had a really short neck. What would it think of our neck? Yeah. Be like you call that a neck. Right. <laughs> Why are you judging me for my short neck? Yeah. <laughs> 40% shorter than a thing with a crazy long neck. <laughs> Now, a lot of the fossils in the area it was found were probably eroded away before it was discovered. In a study published last month, Guillermo Windholtz and others did histology on Brachytricolopan and found the holotype was not fully grown yet. And though it was large, it was also not yet sexually mature. Hmm. So it was probably still growing. Maybe a lot of that neck growth happened later in life. (laughs) It's hard to say. (laughs) They found that the holotype specimen was at least four years old when it died. That is not very old. No. Other dinosaurs that lived around the same time and place included abelosaurids, stegosaurs, and other sauropods, like Tehuelchisaurus. Yeah, going back to the Tehuelche people. Oh, that's true. And then other animals that lived around the same time and place included crocodilomorphs and fish. I'd say... Brachytracolopan, or tracolopan, is a good example of picking a lane when you name a genus. Mm. Either pick the short neck or pick pan. You don't need both in the name. It's too many syllables. Oh, (laughs) I like it. Yeah. I guess it would still be really long because it'd be like brachytracolosaurus or brachytracolotitan. Parasaurolophus, same number of syllables. Yeah, and everyone talks about how easy Parasaurolophus is to say. <laughs> <laughs> well, once you get used to it. It's true. Like any dinosaur name. Yeah. 
For those of you who listen to our Dinosaur of the Day segment and you like it, please consider becoming a patron. We take new Dinosaur of the Day requests from our patrons and offer a bunch of other perks as well. So check out our page at patreon.com slash I know dino or click the link on the left.